So guys, here we are back with another video. Now, I've done a lot of gaming mice in the past, and you know, some of them have been great, some of them have been atrocious, but today we're actually looking at quite a cool one. Now, this is called the AAJO, and this is a uh, wireless mouse, RGB mouse, gamer mouse, whatever you want to call it. It's quite a small mouse, there's not really much going for it, but I wanted to take a look at it. So why don't we get this sorted and unbox it. So today we're talking about VIP SCD key. Now VIP SCD key do offer so many things in the line of keys everywhere from Steam to Origin, Uplay, PlayStation keys, allowing you to get the cheaper prices on all your gaming needs, as well as various gift cards that also have applied discounts as well. So the reason we're talking today is because of Windows 10 Pro OEM key global, allowing you to get this for around about £15.87, but in today's video I'm going to be expressing you a 30% discount to allowing you to get a cheaper price. Now simply just type in SKJT and click on apply. Doing this so will give you 30% off your already reduced price down to £11.90. Then all you need to do is go to submit order, click on the payment type and click on pay now. Now from here what you can do is use your new generated code and go over to your settings into activation and change your product key. So Windows is then going to check the key to make sure it is genuine. As soon as it's done that you have just got Windows 10 Pro OEM key for next to nothing. The IP SCD key also have some amazing offers when it comes to Office 2021 Professional. As we can see here, it's £51.28. But like the previous one, if we use the discount code SKJT in the promotion code area, this will allow you to get a further 30% off your already discounted price and allowing you to get this for around £38.46. Simply head over to submit order and you are good to go. So if you head down to the description below, all the links for there will be there for VIP SCD key. So guys, this is what we're taking a look at. This is the AAJO wireless mouse. Now let's have a little look at this. From the outside of the box, we can already see we've got more of a honeycomb design going on, all plastic. It's got a few DPI switches, possibly remappable, and a little bit of RGB. Now on the back here, it doesn't really say much. It just says 20 million happy users and counting, and a little bit about different choice of the AAJO wireless mouse. It's got a few like reptiles going on, whether that's their company logo, I'm not too sure. So we'll have a look, see what we've got, and we'll go from there. So not really much when it comes to in the contents of boxes. We do have a small little user manual here. This is pretty much telling you that it's a gaming mouse, and it has several different meanings of light. We do have a small little micro USB cable going on here. Um, not exactly massively locked. Not exactly massively long, so if you didn't want to use the mouse while charging it, that's probably not going to be a good idea. And then we have the mouse itself. So let's have a look at this. And there we have it. So relatively already looks, look, it, it does look nice. I'm not going to lie. It's, it, it's larger than some of the ones I've done in the past, like grip wise, but that's not always a bad thing. Now, if we look at the actual construction of the mouse, so we do have the right and left clicker going on there. And then we do have our basic scroll wheel, DPI switch, and we got two more switches on the left hand side there. Now, the one flaw I can say already is where the honeycomb goes up to about here, it doesn't really give you much space. Like, I, I, I know it's more of a design, obviously they've, wanted the, they've done it so it can be more lightweight. But I've seen some in the past where the honeycomb stops about, I don't know, about there. And then you've just got your clickers going down. I think they've kind of went a little bit over top of the, the whole honeycomb design. But overall, it, it it is quite a nice design, I have to admit. So on the front here, we do have the charging port for the micro USD, uh, USB cable. Like I said, if you are going to use this while charging it, you probably will have to get yourself a larger cable. But, you know, you can get them for next to nothing. We do have the honeycomb design on the side as well. What I would have liked to see is like more of a rubber, like a rubber material. So when you're actually grabbing it, you're able to like grip it. Because at the moment, that's not really as grippy as I'd like it. I know they've went for more to try and keep it as light as they possibly can. But it would have been nice for this to be more of a rubber material. Uh, but instead, they've went for more of plastic pretty much all around the entirety of the actual mouse. Uh, so the plastic around here is more of a matte color where you've got the buttons uh, are more of a gloss, which isn't an issue. They can get a little bit slippery, but, you know, overall, not too bad. 
Now the scroll wheel, these are pretty much a generic design when it comes to more basic cheap mice. Uh, you do have the rubber in the center as well as acrylic either side, which is allowing for the RGB to actually shine through. Now, if we look around the side here, we do have acrylic going away all the way from one side of the clicker all the way to the other. As well, this is for the RGB to actually express and uh, give more of a better feeling, especially when it's a little bit darker. Now, on the bottom here, we do have uh, four uh, individual rubber feet going on here. So we've got two atop, two on the bottom there. Uh, so they're pretty much going to allow you to have a smooth feel as you're moving around. Uh, what I've noticed in the past of when it comes to the cheaper ones, they don't last very long. Um, so obviously that's something you've got to think about. If you do use a mouse mat, you do have a little bit more life expectancy on these if you are in the market for something like this. We do have the USB receiver right there. And the one thing I always hate is that they put them in so awkward places that you can't get it out without actually having to use some form of a tool. There we go. So, and there we go. We just have a small little USB uh, receiver there. That just goes into your laptop or your PC and you're good to go. You can start using this straight away. Now, let's turn it on, see what we get. Now, we do have a couple settings already. So the on off switch here. So we do have off, on, and then we also have on RGB. So at the moment, the mouse is turned on. As we can see, we've got the little LED indicator going on there. But if I turn it on again, we'll be able to see the RGB. Now, if I turn the lights off for a second. Now, I've dimmed the lights right down there just so we can see roughly what's going on. But as we can see, we have the RGB going on there. But we can tell already it's individual LEDs that are situated like maybe one or two centimeters apart going on there. So you can see that in um, the darker light going across. It is RGB, obviously, it's more pulsating as it's going across. You do have the RGB that does shine through on the scroll wheel as well, which is relatively all right. And then we also have it behind there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're actually their logo is actually behind the honeycomb. So you can't really see it very well here, but they do have their dinosaur logo there as well. So it is quite nice. The LED button on the bottom as well allows you to change between the different LED settings. So here you have more of a erratic one where it's changing more frequent. And then change it again, you have more of a pulsating one as well as you've just got the LEDs running around and it'll keep changing color as it goes around and around. It just all pretty much depends on how you feel and how you want to go for it. So overall, obviously this isn't a mouse I'm going to personally use myself because I've just obviously got into the new Logitech uh, Lightspeed mice. But I have to admit, I just wanted to take a look at these just to see roughly what uh, companies are pretty much doing. Now, there is so many different companies out there that do these sort of peripherals, gaming mice, gaming keyboards, all that good stuff. But there's a lot of the companies that don't get recognized because they're at the bottom end of Amazon. You know, you can't see them or anything like that. So if you are interested in the market of looking for a budget gaming mouse that, you know, looks nice, feels nice and is extremely light, I definitely would recommend going down the links in the description. There'll be a couple links there so you can try out some other ones. Uh, we do have quite a futuristic um, gaming mouse that came through the door the other day that we're also going to be reviewing. So I definitely admit they're not high class, but they're okay. These are the more the products where I'd be like, this would have been nice if they changed this or done this or done that. But then again, if, when you're paying the price, like something like this, it's totally out of the park. You know, instead of playing like I played, I think it was 70 or 80 pound the other day for a Logitech mouse. Great mouse, no issues. But obviously on the pricey side because you're not just paying for the product you're also paying for the logo and obviously companies like this don't have that exposure to actually be able to be like you're paying for my logo it's going to cost you an extra 30 40 50 pound or dollars or whatever they don't have the they don't have the ability to do that so it allows the product to be cheaper and allows you guys to get them for a cheaper price as well so if you are interested in the market for going to grab one of these if you drop down the links below there'll be a link there so you can go check them out for yourself